So we know what the answer to part A is. Q of x is x squared minus 2x plus 2 with a vertex of 1 comma 1. Now for part B, graph 1 comma 1 is our vertex. And from there, our y-intercept is 2, so we went over 1, up 1. You can use the symmetry of the graph to graph that third point. Okay, we have our y-intercept and our vertex labeled. Part C. intercepts, then it has no real roots. Algebraically, remember that the nature of the roots, whether they're real or complex, depends on the discriminant. The discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. So, the discriminant graphical, and an algebraic reason for part C. Okay. 